good morning to everyone myself en kalpana i am from sri gk jain higher secondary school royapuram for more educational video please subscribe our youtube channel today for the 10th standard i am going to explain the lesson is transportation in plants and circulation in animals and under the topic of blood pressure so blood it is a major part of the circulatory system so blood will the major part of the circulatory system circulatory system all over the parts of your body the blood will be flow here and there whenever it will be in flow some kind of pressure will be exerted that pressure will be called it as a blood pressure so we know about that heart is a pumping organ it pump both oxygenated as well as the deoxygenated blood oxygenated blood means which contain the the blood which contain the oxygen deoxygenated blood means the blood which contain the carbon dioxide so blood, heart is a pumping organ which pump both the oxygenated as well as the deoxygenated blood while it pumping the organ so due to the pumping of the blood uh, organs the heart will during the contraction that means when it will be in systole when it will be in contraction the blood flow from the heart towards the aorta from the left ventricles so already we know about that heart will be contain the four chambers auricular ventricle left auricular uh, right uh, ventricle so auricular ventricle right as well as the left side it will contain the four chambers so during the contraction of the heart the blood which is inside the heart it will be in flow while it will be in flows to through towards the left ventricle to the aorta that means flow of blood will be there which will be the artery will be present it will flow into the arteries the walls of the arteries when the blood will be get into the because it is a kind of blood vessels only the blood vessels will be having the walls will be there during the blood flow the walls of the blood vessels that means the arteries it will be exerted a certain kind of pressure that pressure will be called it as a blood pressure okay so from the heart the blood will be during the contraction the blood will be flow from the heart to the arteries then from the arteries to the arterioles then arterioles again to the capillaries the end of the artery capillaries the vein vein capillaries have been connected again it will be in get into the vein so the here it will be in the flow of blood so here the diagrams have been given so it is a arteries so from blood from the left ventricles of the heart it will to the arteries then the branches of arteries will be called it as a arterioles so again from the arteries the branches of artery called it as a arterioles here from the blood it will be in pass on to the arterioles again the branches of arterioles will be called it as a capillaries the blood from the arterioles it is get into the capillaries again see have you all seen the white color the color difference have been shown no here it is a capillaries here it is a capillaries of arteries and here it will be in the capillaries of vein so it will be interconnected here the capillaries of arteries have been connected so again the blood flow from the capillaries of arteries to the capillaries of vein then it will be pass on to the vein okay so this is the flow of blood while flow of blood the blood uh, the walls of the blood it will be exerted a pressure that will be called it as a blood pressure when you have a calc when you are finding the blood pressure if you have measured the blood pressure with the usage of special instrument it is a spigmo manometer in later videos we discuss about the spigmo manometer clinical instruments and all okay whenever if you have measured the blood pressure in the arteries it will shows the high blood pressure but after when it is goes on it it become low finally in the vein it will be in the low blood pressure so the blood pressure same blood pressure that means the pressure which will be in exerted through the flow of blood so here uh, in the arteries it shows the high blood pressure in the vein it shows the 
low blood blood pressures okay so blood pressures where it will be in flow from the arteries to the vein so from the arteries it shows the high blood pressure and in the vein it shows the low blood pressures okay then in the blood pressure if we will be having a two different kinds of blood pressure when you see the measuring of blood pressure the values it is being given in a slash way 120 bar 80 110 bar 70 likewise they have been given a two values have been given okay that means we will be having a two kinds of blood pressure will be there one is a systole blood pressure and other one is a diastole pressure when systole will happen that kind of that pressure will be exerted that is a systole blood pressure when it has been relaxed that means the diastole is there that pressure will be exerted it is the diastole blood pressure that means systole means contraction of ventricle diastoles means relaxations of ventricle so during the contraction and during the relaxation some kind of pressure will be exerted that pressure will be called it as a systole and the diastole pressure here the normal values of systole and the diastole pressure is 120 mm per hg and the diastole pressure is 80 that means 120 slash 80 is a normal blood pressure of a human being what is the meaning of hg hg is a mercury if you have seen the spigmo manometer that instrument which is used to measure the so in the spigmo manometer the mercury is will have been filled in the spigmo manometer so when you measuring the blood pressure of a body you have to be seen the level of the mercury up to that level of the mercury there is a variation will be there up or in the level of the mercury based on the level of the mercury only we can identify the blood pressure okay so 120 per h 120 bar 80 when it is in the systole pressure it should be 120 it is about about 120 only is a normal one when it is in the diastole pressure 80 so in the one words it is a very important question what is the normal blood pressure of the human body it is about 120 bar 80 okay then we move on to the blood pressure so blood pressure it is about the two kinds of blood pressure one is a hypertension other one is a hypotension hypertension which indicating the high blood pressure and hypotension which is indicating the low blood pressure so two kinds of blood pressure will be there we both it should be there if it is goes on high it is also create a problem if it is goes on less it is also created a problem so always you have to maintain the blood pressure like how we maintain the temperature likewise we have to maintain the, these values of blood pressure if it is less that is also leads to the problematic in our body if it is goes on high it is also leads to the problem when it is goes on high it is called as a hypertension when it is goes on low it is called as a hypotension okay when and which time the blood pressure show the variation suppose if you are measuring the blood pressure of a person we cannot able to conclude it the person belonging to the hypertension or hypotension because due to our emotions also it has been changed likewise whenever if you have during the physical exercise if you are doing the exercise also your blood pressure show the variation if you are measuring at that time obviously it shows the hypertension only from that uh, situation only we cannot able to conclude it the person will be under the hypertension we have to uh, measure it for the two or three times or uh, days also first day if you are measuring means the next day you have to measure if it shows the constant value only then only you have to conclude that the person will be under the hypertension or hypotension whenever the uh, the blood pressure show the variation first thing about the physical exercise when you are doing the physical exercise obviously the blood pressure will show the variation then anxiety then sleep during the sleep also your blood pressure show the variation emotionally if you are in the emotional condition that time if you are measuring the blood pressure obviously it shows a high blood pressure only then stress if you have been overloaded with the stress 
that time if you are taking the blood pressure obviously it show the high blood pressure okay so that is why i am telling that so if you are we are not concluded by while taking the blood pressure of a person in one time say so suppose if the person is under the hypertension means again the next day also we have taking the blood pressure if the value should be the constant one if the value shows the high means then only we can able to predict the person is under the hypertension so in this lesson we are discussing about the blood pressure so from the heart what are all the the blood will be flow from here where and where from the arteries heart to wall as well as the capillaries as well as vein so started from artery if you are measuring the blood pressure will will high then after flowing it will be shows the low and next one it is about the systole and the diastole blood pressure the normal range of systole and the diastole pre blood pressure is 120 bar 80 then about hypertension as well as the hypotension so the it shows the various due to these physical activities it shows a lot of variation in the blood pressures thank you subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update